what does shockwave actually do? I mean, I think if you want to yeah. say it again, but uh, you know, yeah, what yeah. does it feel like? I think we're going to do that in the demonstration. Yeah, so you should can we, feel the differences. Should we save it for them? No, I mean, we'll I mean we just now. touched on it there. I mean, the, yeah. pain, the pain relief is supposed to do with C fibers. You know, there's some evidence to say that we can break those C fibers that have grown into the tendon, mm -hmm. which we neo and you know, I've forgot the word now. So basically, with a chronic tendon problem, you can create nerve endings that grow into the tissue with little blood vessels, and there's some potential breaking of those strands of nerves you can do with shockwave, mostly high energy stuff. But um, it's just anti-inflammatory. We think now it's not. It's not got that sort of pro-inflammatory thing we're changing the words on this now so it's not like it's creating a new amazing inflammatory episode we think mostly it's anti-inflammatory clearing out the gunk so it's, that's the pain relief aspect mm. and then the other aspect which is the regenerative stuff really giving a boost to things like tenocytes we know that they flood into the area and you're getting appropriate collagen laid down after shockwave as opposed to inappropriate collagen so it, it changes uh, the fundamentals of how the cells work apparently so there's some apparently, some theoreticals, yeah, some evidence. A lot of, there's a lot of theoreticals because, you know, you, when you start talking about cells in humans, Indeed. Uh, it's almost impossible to say exactly what's happened. Right. So you do, we have got also, you know, rat hind limb studies showing you this, that and the other helps. Um, but there are also some good Doppler studies after treatment, that sort of stuff. So mm -hmm. blood flow increases. There's a number of mechanisms. They get a bit nerdy, but mm. if you Google them, they're there. But pain relief and regeneration, both together, that's kind of what it does. Yeah. Okay. And mostly for chronic stuff. It's really when someone's had it for more than three months. More than three months. Yeah, that's the real, that's the real thing. Yeah. Okay, and would that wane if it was six months, six years? Seemingly not. Right. I've had some people that have had, you know, for instance, I can remember a clergyman that had it for 10 years with plantar fasciitis. And at the three month point after his last session, boom, gone. Nothing else had done it in 10 years. So you can get some really, really ingrained chronic stuff and it changes them out of that chronicity. Yeah.